Hello, before we start, make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to receive updates when we upload new videos. The exterior of the new CLA 45 shooting brake packs plenty of emotional appeal, the long bonnet, the greenhouse with coupe-style window line, the muscular shoulders over the wheel arches and the low rear clearly reveal the vehicle's sports car genes. The AMG-specific radiator grille with the vertical slats unmistakably identifies the shooting brake as a member of the AMG performance family. At the same time, the sharp nose, the sharply defined, narrow headlamps and the flat, aerodynamic bonnet lend the front a crouched appearance. The imposing presence is also accentuated by the wider front wings with flared wheel arches. These create space for the wider front axle, and underline the athletic appearance. The nozzle-shaped outer air intakes establish a close link to the AMG GT4 door coupe. The front splitter transitions seamlessly into the side air curtains ahead of the front wheels, which optimize the airflow to improve aero performance and the CD figure. As on the coupe, the AMG developers have extensively reinforced the body shell, as it provides the basis for the precise self-steering characteristics, as well as track and camber stability, also when driving at high speed. A lightweight aluminium plate bolted underneath the engine, the shearing plate, increases the torsional rigidity at the vehicle's front end. This is supplemented by a strut tower brace between the front suspension struts and reinforcing plates connecting the side members to the A-pillars to minimize movements of the front section. Diagonal struts at the front and rear of the underbody further improve rigidity. The new engine excels with numerous intelligent design features. In contrast to the likewise transversely installed four-cylinder in the 35 models, the new engine has been turned around its vertical axis by 180 degrees. This means that the turbocharger and the exhaust manifold are now positioned at the rear, on the side of the firewall when viewed from behind. The intake system is therefore positioned at the front. This configuration allows the flattest possible and aerodynamically advantageous front section design. Furthermore, the new arrangement allows much improved air ducting with shorter distances and fewer diversions, both on the intake and exhaust side. The new twin-scroll turbocharger combines optimum responsiveness at low engine speeds with a high power in the upper RPM range. The shaft of the compressor and turbine wheel is installed for the first time on anti-friction bearings, thus minimizing mechanical friction in the turbocharger. The charger therefore responds more readily and reaches its maximum speed of up to 169,000 revolutions per minute more rapidly.
Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video. Subscribe to Auto TV.